In this video, I'm going to show you how to display selectable text. This is a new feature in Flutter 1.9, I believe. It's a very, very useful thing when you have an article or something that you want your users to be able to easily copy. So it's pretty much almost the same as the text widget. It's just selectable text. And in there, I'll just put some text from the lorem ipsum generator. So let's go over here. And I'm going to add some styling in order to make this a little bit bigger. All right, so now we have our selectable text and by default it's scrollable. And when we hold on a certain word, we can choose to copy or select all. We can select further. We can select less than we selected. So yeah, pretty default behavior that you would expect. But there are also some additional options that you should consider. So as I said, you can copy the text and paste it anywhere. But now there are some options we have. We have a cursor. So what a cursor is, we first have to enable it by saying show cursor is true. And now whenever we tap somewhere, we have a cursor that is pretty much displayed. And now we can customize that cursor. We can say that its color is, I don't know, colors.red. And now the cursor is red. We can say cursor width to be 30. And now it's too big, kind of like the terminal cursor if you have worked with terminals. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can also customize the scroll physics. So since the selectable text widget is by default scrollable, it has the clamping scroll physics that is default to Android. But if you want the iOS style physics, you can just say bouncing scroll physics. And now you have this iOS type feel. Also, we have toolbar options and that just specifies what we can or cannot do when we select something. When we say that copy is false and we select some text, we just lost the copy option. But when we just set this to be empty, we still do not have the copy option. So it looks like when we specify toolbar options that we need to say that the copy is explicitly true. But if we remove the toolbar options, copy is again going to be true. So yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. A pretty simple, simple thing to do. And I don't know what else to tell you. That's pretty much it. This can be a very useful and it was just introduced in Flutter 1.9. So I think I will make use of this in my apps and you should too, definitely. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you next time.